G'day guys, Alex Ryan here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about getting your priorities straight for a business. If you're looking to start something on Amazon, you're based in Australia or New Zealand, and you wanna get something started, but the number one thing holding you back is maybe money, you're not too sure how much money you need to get started on Amazon, or maybe lack of funds right now, then stay with us in this video. We're gonna discuss that and more. Welcome back guys, it's good to have you here. Now, uh, my name's Alex Ryan and I, I'm an Amazon coach and I've been teaching people how to start an Amazon business from scratch, from Australia, selling on Amazon Australia and Amazon USA. And occasionally I, I, I come up with people, I, I, I chat with people uh, who are wanting to start something on Amazon and uh, basically they say some uh, stuff like, uh, you know, I, I need uh, five grand or 10 grand to get started on Amazon and I just hit my head against the wall sometimes saying, guys, seriously, we've had three students recently get started on Amazon on less than a thousand bucks. One lady got started on 350 bucks, 350 bucks, seriously, right? On Amazon, on it's actually in the Amazon warehouse in Dallas in the States. So guys, you don't need a lot of money to get on Amazon. By having a small budget, if it's tiny, then it's gonna limit your product choice for sure. Of course it's gonna uh, limit your product choice, but you don't need a lot. Now, um, we actually have a course showing people how to get started on Amazon. And our course is actually quite cheap. If you look around and you shop around, we actually do have quite a few people come back to us because of the quality of the information. And also, you know, sometimes I get involved and help you get on Amazon as well. I build people's Amazon stores, right? I set you up, I build your first product on Amazon stores for some of my clients. And sometimes I do 10 products on Amazon, right? But some people are like, well, I can't afford it. Now, we're actually working with people from 25 bucks a week and some people from $77 a week. My question to you is if you have if you have the latest iPhone, all right? If you have a late the latest iPhone which is like 2000 bucks, right? And you're saying, "Oh, I don't have enough money to get started really on Amazon. I, I can't afford coaching. One thing I'll say to you guys is you need to get your priorities straight. Seriously, I think a lot of people need to get priorities straight in terms of what do they really want? Are they serious about getting started on Amazon? Are they serious about quitting their nine to five? Some people, they hate their job. They go every Monday, 9 a.m., they trudge into work and they absolutely hate it, right? They wanna get out of it, right? But they're not willing to spend $25 in a week to actually learn how to set up an Amazon business from scratch, right, properly, how to find good quality products, right? They're actually, $25 a week is the cost of a lunch that people are paying sometimes, right? They go out for a pint, a pint and a pie at the local pub, that's 25 bucks. And that's not gonna get you anywhere. That's gonna get you fed, right, and overstuffed. It's not gonna actually set up a business that's designed to set you up. So guys, Priority straight. Some people they they spend they oh, they pay five bucks for a cup of coffee. They go to the local, you know, Circular Key. You order a beer in Circular Key, you're looking at eleven bucks for a beer, right? That's like it's it's nuts what people are paying, right? But when something comes along that would actually help them and get them there a lot faster rather than spending six months or even like seriously six months trying to figure it out for yourself watching free youtube videos right there is a way you can accelerate this and get it done even within the first 60 days you can actually have something up and running on amazon in 60 days i've had students get it up and running in 30 days right but would you pay would you forfeit two beers at this james squire brewery at circular key for that chance of accelerating and getting you up and running on Amazon, making sales faster. And if the answer is no, then really, I don't know why you're watching this video. I don't know why you watch any of my videos. That, I mean, that's really the, the, the brute um, honesty of it, right? You need to get your priorities straight. When I got started in my business, what did I do? I cut out a coffee, I stopped going to coffee shops, right? When I started my business, I stopped going out to bars and, and restaurants basically drinking myself until two o'clock in the morning and waking up with a hangover and an empty wallet. I made my priority straight, right? I, I was like, I need to focus on this business. I need to focus on finding new products for my, for my Amazon store. And back then I was selling on, on, I was importing, right? I needed to save money. So I needed to do that and make the change. Whereas, you know, you gotta ask yourself, how seriously committed are you right now? Are you willing to give up TV? Are you willing to give up the, 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 the wife house, you know, desperate wife, desperate housewives, right? Are you willing to give up TV? Are you willing to give up Netflix, right? Are you willing to give up 
a beer or a pint and coffee, a pint and a pie or a coffee every day to start something that's designed to set you up, designed to actually break you away from your nine to five. And that's what, at the end of the day, it all comes down to habits, it all comes down to your priorities. Do you want this strong enough? And if the answer is no, I don't really want it, I don't want to, or I don't want to give those things up, it means you're not really, really ready for success. You're not really wanting change that bad enough. All right, the cost of working with me and accelerating, like I said, we are working with people from $25 a week and I coach you for 12 months, all right? That's on a finance option through somebody else, one of our, uh, an affiliation company. Also, I will set you up on Amazon um, for your first product on Amazon and train you for two years and that's from 77 bucks a week, all right? That's like cost of going out for dinner for two people uh, and, a, and a cocktail each, right? 77 bucks a week and I will work with you for 20, that's two years and I will build your first product on Amazon for you, all right? So that's the cost of doing business. You go out and then you look in businesses for sale, you're looking at $30,000 to $50,000 to buy a basic independent pet washing company where you're washing dirty dogs all day for 30 bucks a pop, all right? Or you go out and buy a Jim's Mowing franchise for half a million dollars, uh, or you go and buy a McDonald's franchise starting from a million dollars, right? That's the cost of doing business. There's always costs, all right? But that's the cost of doing business, right? Now, if $77 a week is a lot of money for you, then Amazon business, quite frankly, isn't really for you, right? Because you do have to buy stock. You do have to basically, you do have to upfront some costs to learn how to set your business up properly from the beginning. So guys, set your priorities straight. All right, find out what your priorities are. Are you serious about getting something started? Are you serious about breaking from the nine to five? Do you really want to start a business? Because some people don't. They say they do, but they really don't want to do it. They don't really, they're happy or they're content with going to work every day or going to doing the nine to five or dealing with a, uh, the BS boss, right? Or dealing with these BS constantly, right? Being told you can't leave until 5.30 p.m. Being told when you can have your lunch break, right? Some people, they get used to it, and it's very sad, actually. I see that stuff, and I'm like, man, I used to be there. I used to be there. I used to be in a, uh, an accountant working in the Sydney CBD, and I did, it, I did it for like a couple of years, actually, two or three years. I used to work on the Central Coast as well, and I hated it. I hated having to be on time every work. I couldn't sleep in. I couldn't go on a holidays. I didn't have a holiday for like, it was like four or five years. I had no holidays at all. Right now, I'm holidaying pretty much every four or five months, right? So I'm taking my wife with me on holidays. We're, we're, we're traveling the world. You know, I've seen more in the last, probably in the last 10 years of running my business. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen so much of the world. I've basically done every continent. But guys, do you really want to break from the nine to five? If you do, you need to have some sort of, of, of payoff, right? You, you need to like, okay, I've got to give up this. I've got to give up that. And I've got to learn how to set it up properly. I've got to set up my Amazon business from the scratch properly the first time. You don't want to be setting it up and then realizing your products don't sell or the product that you chose was a pretty you know, bad product. Or, you know, So you want to make sure you have a good product that is actually in demand, that's doing good turnover before you jump on other products or before you, know, you want to set it up properly from the beginning. So guys, hope this video sort of breaks a few maybe, you know, sort of addresses a few things that uh, you, you may be fighting mentally right now. Do you, do you really want to start a business? Are you ready to get proper advice? It's kind of like going to an accountant, right? Do you prepare your own taxes? Some people do, and they do a pretty bad job of it, right? I know, right, because I used to be an accountant, right? Or do you pay a professional? Same thing going with a, a legal case, right? If you're defending yourself against, uh, you know, some some jerk, do you go to court and, you know, Put it, put it down like Kramer did in Seinfeld and did his self-defense, right? Right? Or do you hire a professional to do it for you? Well, of course you're gonna hire a professional. It's like building a house. You hire a builder to build your house for you. Don't try and build it yourself if you have no clue how to do it for you, right? If you have no clue how to find good products, how to find good supplies, how to build a proper Amazon store, a proper listing that people, when they type in the product, your product comes up. If you don't know how to do that, why would you attempt to do it yourself? And that's a, good, that's, a, that's a very valid question, guys. You know, you wouldn't build your own house because the ceiling would fall in. I don't trust myself to build a, a darn dog kennel, right? I don't trust myself, right? I worry for my dog. If I built a dog kennel, I would be worried for my dog. I would lose sleep over it. So keep that in mind, guys. Don't build your own house. Get a professional to come in and build it for you. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Stay with me. 
Make sure you subscribe if you want more uh, content videos and don't forget to join me on uh, iTunes, Spotify, We've got a regular podcast. We're also on. Uh, we're also doing live workshops as well. So make sure you join me at my next live workshop, which will be held on the Gold Coast. And uh, my name is Alex Ryan. Thanks for joining me, guys. I wish you the best on your Amazon success journey. Talk to you soon. Bye bye for now.